Hi Cookaholics, welcome back to our fourth recipe. I'm your host, Sesk, and today we're going to do a very simple and tasty snack. Get ready for our nachos con guacamole. Alright guys, um, I received a little bit of criticism regarding this section, so I decided to make something a little bit different. Let's see what you think. This is a Mexican recipe and it's very, very old. It is from the 15th century and it's normally served cold. It is made of avocado, tomato, onion, salt, and oil. Be careful with that cheap pocket to save your stomach out turmoil. To do our nachos con guacamole, we will need two spring onions, or one onion, depending on your tolerance to the onions, an avocado, half a beef tomato, green if possible, 100 grams of tortilla chips, 200 grams of cheese, either cheese, mozzarella, or whatever you like. Chipotle, olive oil, and salt. As for the utensils, we will use a cutting board, a kitchen knife, Two tablespoon, an electrical blender, a container to make the sauce, a grinder, a recipient to serve the sauce in, and a plate to serve the nachos. First of all, cut half the tomato. And cut it in three parts. Prepare the onion. Cut the avocado in half and remove the green part with a tablespoon. If you want to save the guacamole sauce in the fridge, keep it with the seed of the avocado to prevent oxidation. Put the tomato and the onion inside of the pot for the blending. Add also the avocado. Add olive oil, salt and the chipotle sauce. Put as much chipotle as you want, depending on how much spicy you want it. Now blend all the ingredients together. You should end up having a smooth sauce. Put the guacamole sauce on the serving recipient. Prepare the plate with the tortilla chips.
Once ready, grind the cheese on top of the tortilla chips. Grill the tortilla chips with the cheese on the oven at 200 degrees or in the microwave. Once the cheese has been melted, serve with the guacamole. And there you go, your nachos con guacamole. Ay ay ay! Nachos con guacamole is a snack. You can have it by itself or you can have it before the main course. You would normally have it with a beer, normally lager. And since it's a spicy, it's supposed to be had during the summer because the spicy food is supposed to help you regulate the temperature of your body when it's very hot. Okay, this one was a simpler recipe, uh, but equally delicious. You know what they say. Good and simple, twice as good. You can check more information in our blog, graphicsdeblog.blogspot.co.uk and I look forward any comments, suggestions, questions you want to make. Don't forget to press the like button and to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching us and see you Gugaholics! The passengers who would like to ask you to switch your electronic devices and not to use them under any circumstances, please. Thank you very much. <coughs> Alfred! <laughs>